All right, this is how you make a backup. So you go into your control panel. Now, how you get there may vary based on uh, what, you know, what host you have and all that. But, um, you know, just look for cPanel or hosting. And um, once you get into that, you're going to look for a public HTML folder. Under that, you're going, to, I'm sorry, I hit the wrong, public HTML. And you're looking for this WP content, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to click on the public HTML folder, or if you have multiple sites, isolate the site on there, and then look for the content folder of that site, okay? Um, in this case, I'm going to back up my own site. So I go to public HTML. I look down here, and I know this is my content folder. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to right-click that, and I'm going to hit um, Compress. And we want to make a zip archive. So we'll let that run for a minute. In the meantime, you can go back over to um, your control, your cPanel, and look for PHP MyAdmin, which is right here. And that'll take a minute to open. And what you want to do is then uh, you. If you have multiple databases, the way to figure out which database is the right one to back up is you're just going to open uh, the database and go down to WP Options, or it may be a different prefix, but it'll say Options, and look at the, uh, the site URL. So we know this is the Online Marketing Gorilla one, whereas if I go to the next one down, I'm assuming that's going to be my, my NIPE one that I created as a subdirectory just to use as a development um, directory. So let's just see. Yeah, you see that Online Marketing Gorilla. So I don't really need that one, but I do need this one. So I'm going to go back over here and you want to, don't forget to navigate away from the WP options because you want to actually export the whole thing. So you'd export, it's going to ask you if you want to uh, create a quick SQL format file and you say yes, you just hit go. So um, we go back over to cPanel, you can see this is still creating that zip file. In the meantime, we can save this. I always recommend that you create a folder um, uh, and you call it, uh, you know, like backup. So I'm going to put OMG backup and today's date which would be for I think it's the 19th 18th 19 and then what you're going to do is just drag the file into the folder and uh, go ahead and pause this while this finishes up and then as soon as it's created the uh, the right zip file I'll show you what to do with that next so we see all of the files that it created, um, this whole list. Now I will say there is a little caveat to this. Um, so sometimes I, I just did a migration of a site and for whatever reason it didn't pull in a lot of the like images and stuff like that. So um, I've never been in the habit of really going back and double checking to make sure that all of the stuff is in there. But I mean it's probably not a bad idea just to scroll down this list and just make sure that you, you know, see what you expect. Uh, I'll show you a way to kind of manually check in just a minute. But all right, so that's done. And now what we want to do is find it. Here it is. So it says today at 924. We created this zip file. So then we're going to highlight it and click on download. This is going to save to the computer. It's a big file, so you'll see it might take a, a few minutes for it to go download. Uh, but while that's uh, downloading, one way to check is um, you if you go into WP Content. Um, I like to spot check the plugins. Like you know, okay, are these the plugins that we see when we log in and we open all the plugins lists? Are are they all in here? And then what you can do is you can open the file that you just created and just kind of scan down and make sure they look like they're all there. And then you can also look at um, themes, make sure that the theme that you 
that you're using is in there. And um, you can look at the uploads, right? Just look at the file folders. Like these are all the uploads that I did in 2014, 15, 16. If I open that, usually you'll see the months, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 1 through 12, 1 through 12, 1 through 12, and so on, right? So you just, that's the way you would want to spot check to make sure everything's in there. But it usually, like 9, 9.9 times out of 10 it works. Um, I just had a really wacky experience last night that um, where it didn't work and so there were all these problems after the migration and um, I found that for some reason when I was zipping the folder it wasn't including all of the files. Um, so that was just something to be aware of. Um, you can see this is still downloading but essentially once it's finished downloading just going to drag it over here into this folder and with those two files we really we could create um, this site again anywhere on any host um, there's some other steps that we would have or you know like we could we could reinstate it as well but there's if you if we're moving hosts then we would have to do a few more things um, but not in terms of backing up any information all of the information we need is there the only other item you might want to grab a hold of would be um, the the WP config file it's a small file so it's easy to back up but if you just go to um, just go to your uh, are we in public HTML let me just okay we're in public HTML here and if you scroll down you see the WP config and you can just uh, just download it. It's a, like I said, it's a very small file. It's already downloaded and I can just drag that over here. Um, that's the only other thing that you might want to back up. There's, um, you know, even if you didn't back that up, that's not a deal breaker. Um, there's ways to create access to the database again using different credentials. So, um, but I won't get into all that. Uh, literally, if you could just get the WP content zip file and a backup of the database, that's really the two key components. All right. I'll talk to you later.